Atlanta hip hop stars are helping to reunite more than a couple of dozen people with their families. Rappers Young Thug and Gunna posted bond for 30 inmates stuck in jail facing minor charges. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Young Thug and Gunna. Now, Young Thug and Gunna are having a wonderful time in this hip-hop game. They are at the top of hip-hop stardom right now. I'm talking about Gunna's coming off of a hit album, and now they got a combined hit album with Slime Language too. And you know what they're going to do with their success? They said, forget it, man. We're doing good, so we're going to bless our people, man. We're going to bless everybody in our family. We're going to throw a nice little cookout this weekend. But it didn't end there. They said, we're going to go and we're going to bless some total strangers. So Gunna and Young Thug went to the courthouse and then went to the jail, got the lawyers, got the attorneys, got the bail bondsmen, and just started bonding random people out of jail, man. It sounds crazy, right? But it's it's real, man. And when we get into the report, you'll get the gist of it. Now, do me a favor, though. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, man, make sure we run those likes up, man. We're trying to get a 1,000 likes. This is a positive video, man. Let's spread the message. And with that, man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about Young Thug and Gunner. Now, Young Thug and Gunner, man, for those of you who don't, know or have been living under a rock lately man they just had the number one album in the country and slime language 2 is doing amazing things on the hip-hop charts now gunna is an mc from atlanta and you know he's like young thugs i don't know i i want to say second in command or like his top artist that he signed but dude has really been doing his thing in this game now their label ysl has put out some pretty good projects lately, man. And they've actually, man, collaborated for, for a lot of hits. I mean, it, if anybody's keeping score, they ought to notice that Young Thug and YSL are not out here playing, man. They racking up plaques and they racking up wins, man. They racking up number one albums. So they're doing their thing. Obviously, with that comes some financial benefits, man. Just They're probably starting to see a windfall of cash. Now, I'm not counting their pockets, and I don't know how much money they have exactly, but it seems like they got enough to spread around. So this weekend, Young Thug and his crew, they got together and threw a, a cookout at a park called Cleveland or Cleveland area in Atlanta and basically celebrated with a lot of their loved ones. They said, forget that, man. We feeling all this love. We getting all these wins in the hip-hop game. Man, there's people out there disenfranchised, and they doing bad. So what do they do, man? They go to the, to Fulton County Jail and they get to bailing people out. So they bail out like 30 different people. Now, there's a news report about this on the Channel 2 News and it covered this specifically. Now, before we get into the actual line for line of the news report, let's look at this short clip from the news report that aired this morning. Family and friends on Sunday afternoon. This is where we're from. This is where we're from. But they aren't just using their fame and fortune to give back to their loved ones. In fact, on Friday afternoon, we just woke up and went to the jail with the lawyer and you know DAs and on the prosecutors and you know the, the bond company, bonding companies, and just got as many people as we can out. Probably like twenty or thirty people. The rapper's label, YSL Records, shared this exclusive video showing the moment dozens of Fulton County inmates were released. Now, as you heard in that news report, Young Thug and YSL said, forget it, man. We going to get the bondsmen. We going to get the lawyers. We even going to get on the DA on the phone. And Young Thug just basically said, forget it. We going to bail out 30 people. Now, you seen the people leaving Fulton County Jail, and they were all oh too happy. And there's a lot of reason for that. Number one, they in jail. I'm pretty sure nobody wants to be locked up. That is not a good experience, you know, even if it's for something minor. And if you notice in the story, they talked about the fact that it was all minor offenses and it was people who could not afford to pay the bill for those minor offenses. Now, there's also a story that, that uh, Channel 2 News did in Atlanta. And basically, they talked about the fact that the Fulton County Jail is just at a horrible, depraved situation right now. They've got way too many inmates. They've got too much going on as far as like the facility breaking down and stuff like that. It's just a very unsanitary situation so you know this man these people young thug and gonna made some fans for life now let's look at that story from a part of that from uh the news there about the fulton county jail 
act of kindness comes just two months after Channel 2 got an exclusive look inside the Fulton County Jail, where at the time there were 2,900 inmates, 400 over capacity. So crowded, many are sleeping in public areas. This is some of the worst conditions I've ever seen. We're going to cut it there, but you can see the, the idea there. The, the jail is just run down, man. It's a horrible situation, and they've got 400 people over capacity. You've seen people sleeping on the floor and stuff like that. Now, Young Thug even talked about in the news story that, that, that ran this morning that, yes, they did the, the time, so they got to do the crime. He gets that. But when it comes to something like minimal charges, you know, like somebody, you know, minor theft, like somebody taking, it, let's say, a candy bar or something like that, and they don't have the money because the bail is more than what they tried to take? Nah, man. It, it just, uh, it seems like it's only right to do something like this. And that goes to show that all hip hop artists don't just blow their money and do all sorts of crazy stuff like that. Now it's their money, so they can do that. They can blow their money all they want. They can buy as many chains as they want. They don't have to give to anybody. But this goes to show that some rap artists do have an idea of community and the idea of sharing and the idea of doing something great, you know, for other people outside of themselves and outside of their, their, their friend group, excuse me. Now, Young Thug is no stranger to do this, man. Remember when he bought all those cars for all those people? I mean, they were like nice cars, but they were, and they were new cars, but it was like, you know, regular cars that he had bought for a whole bunch of people. I think it was including his family or whatnot. And it seems like he's passing on a good message to Gunna on how to deal with his finances in the future outside of just flashing and, and, you know, showing off the chains and the money. And Young Thug and Gunna, don't, don't get me wrong. They do their, their, they do their, their, uh, enough flashing. You know what I'm saying? They show off money. They show off the chains. They really those fly type gangster types, you know, that you got nowadays, you know, they got the designer on and stuff like that. But when it comes down to it, you can tell with acts like this, that at least they got some type of heart, man. At least there's something there where, you know, they feel like a need to help people out who are in need. But maybe that comes from them being in a position in the past where they didn't have and wish somebody could reach out and help them. Because, man, both Gunner and Young Thug have had a history of being locked up. So they understand the importance of, you know, being able to, to fight your case from the house and somebody coming and bail you out in a tough situation if it's possible, man. And for a lot of those people that they bailed out, it was like minor, minor, minor infractions that they just needed a couple of thousand or whatever just to get out of jail. So, I mean, well done, well done. I like this. I think this is a good thing. Hopefully, it's a trend that they start in Atlanta. And, you know, man, hopefully it, it doesn't backfire to where people will think somebody will always bail them out. But when it's possible and it's needed, it seems like you, you can't go wrong in this. Now, what do you guys think, man? Do you think that gunning and Young Thug shouldn't be bailing out people who have committed crimes because it sends the wrong signal? Or do you feel like this is just another way to help out your own community and help out people in need, and it should be appreciated? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, man, also make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace. Oh, yeah, and if you made it to this part of the video, make sure you run up them likes, man. We're trying to get a 1,000-plus likes on this video.